ladies and gentlemen today was the six year anniversary live stream of rise of kingdoms over on their official youtube channel and they announced a ton of big changes and updates coming over the course of the next 12 months for the game including what appears to be a brand new commander that is somehow tied to a key story coming to the game so today we're going to cover everything that we know and everything that was discussed here in this live stream but first what's going on guys cheers if you appreciate breaking news for rise of kingdoms drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and consider subscribing to the channel for more rise of kingdoms videos but first recently i discovered a game called age of dino a brand new next generation strategy mmo age of dino combines the prehistoric power of mighty dinosaurs with epic modern military technology to build a truly unique world where you'll have to fight to survive as soon as you jump in you're tasked with creating your own dino park where you can tame hatch and collect unique dinos to add to your army age of dino takes place in a wild land that'll have you not only battling against other players in pvp but against the world itself in various pve events as well so developing your base and training a powerful army will get you a long way but to truly survive you'll need to use strategy to outsmart your opponents as well honestly i was immediately impressed with the graphics in age of dino because the models of the various dinosaurs are fully animated in 3d and really they all look unique and stunning how they were able to come up with some of these designs is beyond me but they look insane and while it's important to have an army of terrifying dinosaurs by your side there's no way you're going to rule the world by yourself games like age of dino always offer a global community where players can engage with one another and connect to decide the future of the server so why not jump in and give the game a try of course age of dino is 100 free for ios android and pc and you can use the link in the description below to download the game today as always downloading with my link helps the channel a ton generous sponsors like age of dino help me to continue bringing you new content here on youtube so consider giving the game a try today to help out the channel with all that out of the way the first thing that i want to touch on here is actually this guy right here the guy right above my head this figure that was shown in the countdown screen of the live stream is a commander allegedly that we don't see in rise of kingdoms at the time of recording this video i think i don't know who this could possibly be at first i thought it might just be ragnar wearing a helmet because he has a very similar like beard style and things along those lines very similar armor i guess but later in the live stream they did confirm that there is a new figure here in this countdown screen and we know who literally everybody else is we have obviously gorgo huo eleanor leonidas Yi song Ye in the back here and this is obviously herman or herman prime and this figure i mean it it looks like a viking but I actually think it is a historic British commander. We're going to show that in just a second. But what is this logo? I feel like I've seen this before, and I'm sure somebody in the comment section below knows what this is from. So please let me know in the comment section below. And while his armor does look similar to Ragnar, you can see that it's actually all golden instead of the silver that we see here, the silver chainmail. You can see the helmet under Ragnar's arm right here actually has some metal armor plating right underneath the eyes and if we take a look at this commander here that is missing as well so this is definitely a different commander than Ragnar and to further prove my point while the rise of kingdoms live stream was going on they also released a 20 second long cinematic trailer for the upcoming king of all Britain Viking invasion event uh this I assume is going to be a new kvk story coming in 2025 or maybe by the end of the year I highly recommend you checking out this trailer it's only 20 seconds long and it is actually super super cool but one of the key moments during this trailer is it says I shall fight for my people I shall fight for my glory and then we actually see that new figure that apparently is a new commander coming to the game in action we can take this frame by frame and you see he has this big sword slash across the screen and we get a much better view of who this commander actually could be he looks like a viking but it says king of all britain so could we possibly be getting king arthur and if so is this king arthur or or does this not look anything like king arthur historically but one thing is sure we see that exact same symbol on the side of his waist here like we saw in the previous screenshot that i showed you from the live stream starting screen so it looks like we are getting king of all britain who that whoever that might be uh but this is what they look like and honestly it looks super epic 
when I saw this posted, I was like, wait a minute, that can't be Ragnar. It, it just can't be. So this is very exciting stuff here. There was also a brief moment where they show the glowing boot of that exact commander that is stomping on the ground here. I don't know if you guys missed that, but it was literally just a few seconds, but he lifts his boot up and he stomps it down. And you can see that it's got the same cape, the same sort of shield that he's holding here. And so I'm really excited to find out who this new commander is going to be and how they're going to play a role in the new KVK story that we'll talk about in a little bit. I'm going to cover that later in this video, but it looks like a new commander that is related to the KVK story. Maybe it will be a KVK exclusive commander, or maybe this KVK story will be incorporated somehow into the expedition game mode that we've shown in the past here on the channel I talked about this in a most recent video I said maybe they're going to expand the expedition maybe that's possible I don't know how we're going to get our hands on this commander but typically when we get a new commander that is released outside of a release window whether it's the mightiest governor or the wheel commander usually when we get a new commander outside of those things it's either related to some sort of event or maybe it's related to a new civilization usually we see new commanders with new civs uh, we know that the upcoming civilization coming in 2020 25 is I mean he can't be related to that because he's from Britain we know he's king of all Britain so we know this is not a commander from a new civilization but is this new commander going to be part of the gold keys are they going to be a part of the expedition shop are they only going to be available in this new kvk game mode we have no idea but it's very exciting to get sneak peeks like this where we just get to speculate for a little bit now they did say that this new commander um or this new figure I guess technically I don't think they specifically said it's a new commander I think it's a new commander I mean all signs are pointing towards it but it looks like they will be revealed later this month so we are in September right now we should get more information about this figure later this month so I'm very excited to see who this might be and what role they're going to play in rise of kingdoms now moving on past this new figure we got updates for the future plans of rise of kingdoms directly from Dahe the producer of rise of kingdoms you guys have seen his face many times over the past few years if you've been keeping up with like the LA player meetup and things along those lines he has been very player facing I would say over the last few years uh, which I love by the way I love when developers and producers are very transparent parent they speak directly to the player base I love to see that and also and I mentioned this in a previous video but he actually addressed the community in English in this video which is something that he's been learning apparently over the course of the last year and I really really appreciate that he was able to you know talk to us directly without a translation or anything like that uh, but first he introduced a few of the different devs for rise of kingdoms and the first thing they touched on was performance optimization now just really quick before we go any further in this video if you guys want to just literally watch what they said this is the live stream recap will probably be on the official rise of kingdoms channel after the live stream is over so go ahead and watch the entire video if you want to but the producer for rise of kingdoms introduced Yi Fu. now i'm very sorry if i'm mispronouncing any of your names i do apologize but he is a senior programmer for rise of kingdoms and he basically came on to say that there was a couple of different things that they've been focusing on when it comes to improved performance and lag optimization for rise of kingdoms uh he made a little joke here saying that the two things players play, complain about the most was infantry needing to be buffed and reducing lag and he joked saying like we've pretty much fixed the infantry issue and everybody knows infantry have been very dominant over the past year last year for this exact anniversary for the fifth year anniversary they announced Liu Che and gave everybody Liu Che for free and Liu Che has gone on to completely change the landscape with smite damage so infantry is in a good spot now and next they're focusing on lag and he said a few different things here um as far as performance issue goes now again I'm not going to play the entire video if you want to watch it go ahead and watch it on their uh, on their channel but he said that they've been analyzing these open field battles and there's a, a few things Things that they're going to be optimizing first of all he said that there's a lot of unnecessary battle data that's being processed in these long uh, in these large open field battles and so they're working on reducing that they're also working on uh, increasing the server response speed and also improving the battle interface so having a better interface and having better interface options for the players to reduce clutter remove unnecessary information and just make it better for players
players for those big open field battles so as you guys know uh, improving lag and performance has always been a sort of focus of them and honestly i can tell you guys i started playing the game in october of 2018 i've been here from basically the very beginning and i will say like during pass openings when the first kvks ever came out like the game would lag so hard that it would be like half a frame per second like it was actually horrible you literally could not actually play like you genuinely couldn't play so the lag and performance over the last six years has gotten significantly better just objectively I've, I've I've I was there okay so I know uh but it's always going to be a a you know number one priority for the game to be performing as best as possible and as we know remastered graphics are being rolled out over time for rise of kingdom over, over the course of the next few months and of course with that comes continued focus on performance and lag optimization so it's good to know that this is like top of their priority list as they're going to proceed with you know releasing the new graphics to the game so as i said here they identified too much unnecessary information server sending out unnecessary battle data so there's a lot of fat to be trimmed here they've identified that they're focused on it they're working on it which is great to know next they introduced da peng a game designer for rise of kingdoms and there were a few things that he touched on here uh, basically saying that players want new gameplay experiences and that is what they are working on they also said that they're going to be working on more unique unique characteristics of commanders and so one of the or, or two of the uh, sort of examples that I think that he was using was first of all Liu Che smite damage we know smite damage has changed the game he also touched on the new archer commanders that we've been talking about recently on the channel here we have of course Cho Young again mispronunciation there I'm sorry about that but he talked about how these new commanders are ha they have mighty healing they have true damage and that's kind of their special thing that's that is their special characteristic and so moving forward in rise of kingdoms it's possible that we're going to be seeing even more commanders coming out with unique characteristics and the idea here is that it's going to give you more creative and more strategic depth to the game and that's going to keep things a little bit more interesting and a little bit more exciting right because one of the things that I've pointed out over the course of the last year is that with you know new commanders comes higher damage factors and more mechanics and it makes things more and more complicated and new commanders get stronger and stronger and so i think one of the ways that they're trying to solve that is by not necessarily releasing a new commander that is just better in every way than an old commander but to release new commanders that have just new things new mechanics and new like actual characteristics that no other commanders have and it will give you a reason to use that specific commander and so i'm really excited about this now one thing that i want to touch on here is he also said that there's been a lot of feedback from the players talking about the unexpected strength of ranged units so i'm not sure what that means for the future of ranged who knows maybe it's going to be the case that range the power creep for ranged slows down a little bit um or maybe they're talking about specifically the shifting gears kvk range just being too strong in the shifting gears kvk um who knows what he meant by this honestly but i mean ranged have been very very dominant in the last year in terms of just sitting in the back and just farming kill points with a single army maybe that will change moving forward in rise of kingdoms maybe the next ranged release will be toned down a little bit who knows i can't wait to see what they do with range though i've got a ton of sculptures saved and i've been waiting for the next ranged release to see if they're even stronger than what we have right now perhaps we're going to i might have to invest in ranged unfortunately uh, but who knows with this statement it might be the case that ranged power creep slows down i'm not i'm just saying I, he he said it not me next he went on to reveal what we just talked about before the king of all britain key story and what he said here was that every year they're planning on releasing a new key story for rise of kingdoms and this year or i guess i mean maybe this is coming in 20 25 who knows but it looks like this first ever key story for rise of kingdoms is going to be the king of all britain event um a couple of things that they said here for this event and, and as you can see here we have ragnar featured and so we know for sure again that that other commander that i showed you that other figure that's in this cinematic it's not ragnar because he's fighting ragnar we know for sure it's not ragnar so anyway this key story is going to be the vikings versus the anglo-saxons and you'll have to choose a side here this new key story is going to focus on a reworked map with new terrain he said new terrain 
new holy sites it's going to have roads and a mapped out coastline so my mind has exploded here because this is huge news we see in games like hall of dragons uh we have a road system and the function of the road system is that you build out roads and you actually get increased march speed on those roads uh also new terrain implies that we're going to be getting a terrain possibly similar to call of dragons maybe or maybe they're just planning on you know designing the map in a way that uses you know the similar terrain that we were focused on or that we've had in the past which is rivers bridges uh you know mountain ranges and just using them in a different way um but when he says new terrain I think of call of dragons I don't know I, I mean I'm just I'm just saying that's what I think um and if that's the case then my god ranged are going to be insane if we're actually getting new terrain to the game um moving on from that he also said that there's going to be uh you get to choose a starting province here uh, I think it's going to be the case that you can either choose the Vikings or the Anglo-Saxons I guess that's what I that's what I understood from this and again they said that this is going to have new gameplay elements and they're going to reveal that new figure that we saw here in the cinematic we're going to be seeing him later this month also featured in this little showcase here is a, a part of the video that wasn't shown in the actual like the post of the video uh, this looks like Odin I'm assuming which is you know like the I guess like the God that the Vikings kind of worshipped or something God of War I'm not really sure you guys can let me know in the comment section below but this is like this is insane right this looks unbelievable maybe we're gonna have like actual like Alliance or sort of um province based like super effects that you can use in the battlefield who knows maybe it's just part of the cinematic maybe I'm reading too much into it that could be the case as well but here you can see again holy sites settlements what are settlements how are, what are settlements in rise of kingdoms that's going to be I, I don't know what they're planning but this sounds like it's going to be really big so I'm really excited to see this again roads and mapped out coastlines what does that mean are we going to be able to finally use ships I would imagine that we could use ships in this game mode because we have the Vikings I mean if Vikings are playing a crucial role in this new key story then it would almost be like a given that we have to have ships right I mean that's how they invaded to begin with so all in all very excited to see what comes here next up they talked about a couple of new gameplay events that are coming for PVE right so that King of All Britons event that's PVP next they talk about PVE they talked about they're releasing a uh, upgrades to the Soroli crisis and champions of Olympia game modes okay they said that the champions of Olympia is getting a new map so we've seen new maps before they're releasing a new map as well and they said this one is going to be different so we'll see how that goes but the big announcement here um was the reveal of the new roguelike game mode which I've talked about here on the channel before this will be it is confirmed a PVE event obviously based on the name it sounds like it would have to be I mean it's a roguelike after all this will also take place on a new map and it looks like you're going to be going through different rooms and they're connected by portals right and so you could see one blue one over here we have a purple one over here and you can teleport between these different rooms I call them rooms obviously this is an outdoor terrain but it looks like they're going to be connected via teleports and as you kill all of the enemies in a particular space you're looks like you're going to be able to teleport to the next space and when you do you're going to be able to upgrade your skills as you progress to these further like floors of I guess this sort of dungeon type of roguelike game mode and at the very beginning of this event you are going to be able to choose choose a, a role right so similar to other game modes where you can choose like dps or damage you can choose a tank you can choose support or healing right uh, in this game mode you're also going to be able to choose a role and that role is going to determine what the different power ups and rewards that you get are for this game mode so they showed off here that one player is focused on the meteor strike skill that's like the thing that they get their hands on when they upgrade their you know abilities in this game mode and so I'm assuming meteor strike is going to be related to the damage role um, but I'm ex excited to see like obviously what the tank and support roles also are going to get as you progress through this roguelike game mode and then again they showed off the new Soroli crisis boss and said that this is going to be challenging unlike any we've faced before so very exciting stuff here uh you could see obviously we've got the little lightning bolt here so who knows what this is going to incorporate but this is going to be it could be insane 
insane it could be insane next he also touched on the anniversary event now the anniversary event for the sixth year of rise of kingdoms is going to be coming on September 23rd you're going to get access to these events here and they did reveal that you're going to be getting a free legendary commander if you log in for seven days I guess this is I guess 10 sculptures of the commander they did not say exactly but it says you log in for seven days and you can choose a legendary commander you can only select commanders you have summoned okay so it's unfortunately not going to be a way to get your hands on a legendary you don't have that that is unfortunate but you will be able to get a free legendary here again I assume that this is 10 sculptures of that commander so that is exciting free legendaries is always very good stuff here um it would be amazing if they gave you a full legendary right like 690 fully expertise that would be wild I would love to see that uh but I highly doubt that that's going to be the case also we have the barbarian incursion desert tracks event all this stuff we've already seen before so very exciting things next they went on to talk about the graphics update now of course we've gotten a sneak peek of the remastered graphics for rise of kingdoms over the course of this last year it's come to some of the newer kingdoms it's also come to the new kvk game mode which i covered extensively in my recent kvk you can watch that on the channel if you missed it but they introduced simon the senior artist for rise of kingdoms to discuss the new remastered graphics he proceeded to announce that they are remastering the barbarians on the map so this is really exciting stuff it looks like they're going to be having different uh, designs for these barbarians and more diversity to these barbarians right now he said that the current way to tell the difference between barbarians is how many troops they have and the types of troops some of them have like bears and stuff like that but here he said that there's actually going to be just different barbarians out in the world which i think is going to be really nice it's going to make the world feel more alive feel more diverse feel more dynamic and i'm really excited to see that hopefully we'll see you know for example uh they they might change with seasons right maybe that's a thing they've hinted at seasons in the past who knows they didn't say that in this video so we don't have seasons confirmed but that is definitely something that is possible the next thing he announced was actually an update to the infinite zoom feature now this is a feature that when rise of kingdoms came out completely set it apart from other games in the genre the ability to literally zoom out from your city into the world all the way up to see the whole map that feature was not present in any other mobile city builder game in the genre right and so that feature was huge and it looks like they're going to be updating that feature to include sort of a battle mode where you're going to be able to get more information about battles happening on the map also they're going to be making it look a lot better for the remastered graphics obviously this was a big thing that I noticed when you zoomed all the way out um the map was just all green all the mountains were green as well so it was hard to see the difference but here you can see that the mountains are actually outlined you can see it perfectly you can see the passes I don't think this is finished but the infinite zoom feature is already really good in rise of kingdoms so the fact that they're making it better is important and also you see timers here for the different passes right you see four days 12 hours six minutes so you know when the next pass opens exactly there's no guessing there's no calculating and converting it from utc to your time zone or whatever uh so really nice stuff here love to see that and this is also going to be available for spectators as well so good stuff especially for those that live stream others kvk here we can see that the 7k gems event is making a return for the anniversary event for rise of kingdoms which is very exciting stuff here here they scroll through a couple of the different rewards which is really really nice now what's important to notice here is these keys that you actually can get uh in the in the free track here if we move forward you can see the anniversary shop does require these keys to unlock these different things so you're going to be able to get these free to play getting five sculptures here is nice you get a 2024 anniversary festival decoration voucher there's also a new chat theme which is very exciting here we have transmutation stones which are going to be very premium very important to get your hands on this is what the chat theme actually looks like which honestly I think it looks really good obviously you've got the cake and everything so it's a little bit anniversary themed but just in general the fact that it's purple is a little bit darker it's probably better on the eyes like at nighttime so I'm looking forward to that here we have the reward preview for the city skin selector and here we have the song of the depths now this is a epic city skin that you can get for free during this event and you get five percent gathering speed so this is actually going to be a must-have city skin for being in the uh, in off season right you're going to want to use this if you don't have a city skin that already gives you gathering speed you lose infantry defense so this is definitely not a pvp city skin unfortunately 
but you do again gathering speed that's amazing also the city skin itself i know i'm blocking it a little bit but it looks incredible it's like this pearlescent tower uh and i just i love it i think it looks incredible it looks different from everything we've seen already it's very nautical and sea themed which i love it seems like this entire anniversary event is focused on you know naval battles and things like that we saw you know with the new key story with it being you know ragnar versus that new king of britain's uh figure that we saw very exciting stuff here they also showed off the new zenith of power city skin which we've already covered here on the channel but the this just looks absolutely incredible it is a winged pegasus that is like it's like a galaxy sort of like star pegasus but it's made of water incredible incredible city skin we've seen nothing like it before i absolutely love it they also said that you're going to be able to get your hands on the anglers abode city skin another epic skin this one is infantry attack but you lose archer health truthfully i the stats here are awful this is a terrible trade however it looks amazing i think it looks awesome it looks like a very like sea shanty type of fisherman's village which I mean makes sense because you're going to be able to get it from the Fisherman's Fortune event. So uh, I'll try to get my hands on this just because it looks cool, but truthfully, um, the stats aren't great. So there's that. Next, they said that they're doing optimizations to the relic system in Rise of Kingdoms. For those of you that don't know, that is the museum. And one of the biggest complaints from players is that it's really hard to get your hands on the relic coins. And here they are updating the amount of relic coins that you get from completing your daily objectives here in the game. At the time of recording this, you currently only get five per day and now you're going to be getting 15 per day which is nice again I know I'm blocking this off but you also get 15 from the you know starting one and so I wonder if they've bumped this one up as well I'm really hoping that they did because going from five to 15 isn't I mean that's 10 more per day it's nice it's great we need that but it's you know it's it's nothing game changing so hopefully they've updated the one for the 20 activity points as well however it's also worth noting that they've included it in the Alliance mobilization event as well and so things like you know level three you can get your hands on 20 of these relic coins you also can see exhibit coins are shown here on level four it looks like it's a it's three figures it's a hundred right and so they've incorporated this as well you know would I take this over some legendary formation choice chests probably not 10 crystal keys probably not right so it's going to be a tough choice um obviously you know I mean having to choose between the two is that's a bit rough right like come on come on what are you doing it seems like the exhibit coins are harder to get so I'd probably choose that but yeah I, I mean it's good to see that there's just more ways to get them that is great I'm very happy to see that I think that the value of these is only going to increase as time goes on because as we see more powerful commanders getting relics like Guan Yu for example you're really going to want to get your hands on those and so I think the value of these will continue to go up and so it actually might be better to get these than 15 hours of healing speed ups but it even goes up to like level 17 here right where again it's still only a hundred I you would expect it to be more than the previous levels but still it's only a hundred uh uh, but you know of the three of these like I mean maybe I would pick this right these are an RNG gamble and this is not something that you need at all like you don't need a 50,000 training reserve right unless you're a mega whale so I think this is a good choice for level 17 but we'll have to wait and see they also said that they're adding it to the ready to attack event so this is the event where you increase your power and you can see here that like if you just increase it 160,000, you get a tremendous amount of these relic coins which is really really nice and 100 exhibit coins and beyond that uh we they also said they're adding it to the overwhelming strength event so this one you can get just from building and research as well so in both these events you're going to get your hands on a nice number of the relic and exhibit coins so very happy to see that again just more ways to get them is good something else to note here we see this quick little screenshot before they introduce the anniversary event you see Ragnar on a boat so we're seeing lots of emphasis on Ragnar the Vikings and whatever this new key story is going to be that is going to be probably the focus of the next six to 12 months of the game which is very exciting now another thing that they shared is actually a reunion event this is new we've never seen this before but basically all governors are going to be getting their hands on a you know an invite code to rise of kingdoms and if you're able to invite long lost friends back to the game you're going to get your hands on a ton of gems right it looks like you're going to have 650 gems for every person that you invite to the game and for the first one you invite you're going to get another 200 gems so 850 gems for getting someone to come I don't know if it's just coming back to the game or if they're new to the game right here it says long lost friends but 
I I mean maybe this will work for brand new players as well either way this is a great idea I think I I love this right getting your friends to play the game not only makes it more fun for you because you're playing with people you like but rise of kingdoms has changed a tone over the past two years and if you quit playing like during COVID or something like that or right after COVID ended then this is a great way to get players to come back see the new graphics see the new gameplay elements see the new commanders and people get you know a little bit of a reward here I wonder if the players that come back also get a reward I hope they do um because that would be just like a nice incentive but it's also worth noting this is only for two days right and so I mean they should just do this permanently this should just be permanently in the game you should just always get a reward for inviting people to the game it is literally free word of mouth marketing for them so I love this idea this is incredible just put it in the game all the time and I think you'll see a lot of players really loving this anyway guys that was everything that they covered in the sixth year anniversary live stream tons of new things coming to the game over the next six to 12 months I'm very excited for the future of rise of kingdoms they had no mention of any you know new types of units or any new types of ranged or firearms or anything. there's none of that right so very excited for the future of rise of kingdoms uh what what do you guys think in the comment section below let me know what you think about the next year in the game I'm really excited to see what this new key event is is it going to be a new uh, new kvk I think it will be and who do you think that new commander is or that new figure that was revealed I'm really excited to know what do you guys think in the comment section below do you think it's King Arthur let me know and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton that helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and finally I do want to shout out the sponsor of today's video one more time Age of Dino give the game a try it is free click the link in the description below it really helps out the channel a ton those generous sponsors really help me do what I do here on YouTube so give them a try and thank you Age of Dino for sponsoring today's video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace